I wanted to touch on uh, something else from the report. Mm. Um, you uh, you were looking to how different providers offer vul vulnerability management services, mm. uh, and the fact that many organizations struggle to to patch everything, uh, and that to focus on where it really matters, uh, intellectual property coming from the provider was instrumental. Can you give us a, a little bit more uh, information about that? Sure, no problem, Tatiana. So. When we were speaking to customers in the research and also my observation from the customer interactions I've had before the research, we were hearing a lot for vulnerability management services particularly that everybody can run the basic technology that scans the infrastructure, it tells you everything that's wrong. The trouble is, is that there's often thousands, tens of thousands sometimes of security vulnerabilities, but many of the traditional security mechanisms that are used to classify vulnerabilities just aren't good enough at cutting that down to a manageable list which you can share with other stakeholders and which a service provider can meaningfully work through. So we're just finding there's too much information out there and customers and service partners are struggling to understand what's priority, what are the things that actually are going to be exploited in the wild and what are the assets that actually matter. So one of the things that differentiated some of the providers in the space was their ability to use some of their IP or partnerships IP with some of their technology partners to help to make that problem more manageable so that when they're reporting on vulnerabilities, they're prioritizing the stuff that really matters and helping to execute clients' programs for them by helping to project manage some of the remediation activity. So from my perspective, where this was being done, the value perceived from the service was much higher for those clients that were getting that kind of service. Where they were getting the more traditional kind of service, it was really quite frustrating for them and that still continues to be the case in many organizations. Mm. Because they weren't having to uh, to deal with, you know, I think 18,000 uh, vulnerabilities uh, every year, they were uh, having to address a much smaller number of that. So the provider was able to then, on the one hand, understand what the critical assets were for that organization, but mm -hmm. on the other hand, also have the, the intelligence and understanding what uh, potential vulnerabilities uh, threat actors uh, might be likely to explore for that organization and joining, of course, uh, that uh, together to uh, make sure that remediation was much more targeted. Exactly, that. yes.